everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for no tea time today. We don't have tea. We are on the ship. So we left Rome and now we're on the ship heading to Greece. I want to do something really quick for you because something came across the wire, as they say, and it is something we've talked about in the past, and that is T-Mobile moving into this whole T-Satellite set up. So not only will T-Mobile provide for us, T-Mobile users, a means of connection when there is no towers in sight anywhere using SpaceX Starlink satellites for texting, emergency texting, but now they're moving into data. So they're going from SMS to MMS and there's a lot more to it. So I was reading a couple of articles, one on PC Magazine, a few other places. I want to go through some of it with you because I think it's very important. And what's nice about this, it's not that you have to be a T-Mobile subscriber, a T-Mobile user to use the service, which is really kind of cool, right? So if you're AT&T or Verizon, you could spend like, I think like $10 extra a month and then have these services the satellite services, especially if you don't want to use a service like Apple's, which is pretty much junk, right? They're using Global Star with these extremely high satellites that just give you horrible connectivity. There's not a lot of the satellites. So SpaceX Starlink is completely on a different level altogether. And if you want to move your service into that, once again, this means that it is agnostic so everyone can use it. So if you are an AT&T customer, a Verizon customer, and not T-Mobile, that's fine. A couple extra bucks, you'll be able to get this service. So as usual, I'm going to go through this article, and then I'll give you my commentary after I want to hear from you down below. What do you think about all this? Do you have this service already? And if not, is this something that you're looking for? Maybe not for just using it generally, but maybe as a safety device, right? Something that maybe you travel a lot and you're in areas sometimes that is a little bit sketchy where you do not have coverage at all. Well, this will do it for you. This will fix that. This will at least give you peace of mind that in case of an emergency, you will be able to reach someone. I've been telling you about what's been going on with us in Rome. And there was one thing that I kind of want to bring up before I get into this article. And people was asking us, you know, how is it with all of the things that are happening with Iran and with Israel and what has been going on? Anyways, well, we were in the Colosseum and during this I guess, jaunt through the Colosseum, all of a sudden there was like gunfire, which was actually fireworks going on. Then we found out that this was actually a protest. So there was this mass protest, almost like a riot. There were so many people, smoke, and uh, it was just crazy, crazy. And we captured some of it. I'm gonna, matter of fact, I'll play some of it for you so you can see it. But this is the type of stuff that you see throughout Europe right now. There's a lot of protesting and there's a lot of unrest. So as we can see, as of today, we saw Trump come out there with expletives about what he thought about Israel and Iran breaking this ceasefire, which kind of got thrown out literally in hours. So it is a little bit uneasy when you're out and about because you don't know what's going on. And as a U.S. citizen, you're kind of targeted a little bit, right? So you have to kind of be leery and know what you're doing and where you go and where you don't go. For us, we were in the Jewish quarters of Rome. And I can tell you the amount of security was just next level. Even over the Colosseum, prior to this protest ensuing, there was helicopters flying. There's people with, you know, AK-47s wandering around. And that's not normal. You know, you normally see the normal policia that wander around, right? With their handguns, maybe a taser or something. That's it. Maybe a bat. <laughs> but no, they're like wandering around with AKs. So yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit uneasy here and there. But tomorrow we will be in Greece and maybe in my next video, I'll show you some of that. 
Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into this article. T-Satellite launches July 23rd. T-Mobile's new satellite-based cellular service, T-Satellite, officially launches on July 23rd, 2025, bringing satellite texting and MMS messaging to mobile users. Once again, not just SMS, it is also MMS. That is really great. If you don't know the difference with MMS, you can get, for example, a audio um, piece an audio clip you can send out as well as you can send a photo. So now all of a sudden we are in the data age of this type of service, not just SMS, which is just texting. Really cool. At launch, Android users will be able to send both SMS and MMS messages, while iPhone support for MMS will follow shortly after. The service allows phones to stay connected even in a complete cellular dead zone by using SpaceX Starlink satellites. The service will be free for T Mobile subscribers on the new Experience Beyond plan. Everyone else, including ATT and Verizon users, can access the features for $10 a month through a secondary eSIM. So there you go. Once again, like I said before, AT&T and Verizon users will be able to get this service for 10 bucks a month. That's pretty cheap to be able to have this peace of mind. Messaging from the middle of nowhere. Since the beta began, over 1.8 million users have signed up to test the service, including many from rival carriers. Users have already sent over a million satellite messages from remote areas across more than 500,000 square miles of coverage. That is a lot, guys. That is a lot. The service automatically switches from phone to satellite when no regular signal is available, with message delivery delays ranging from seconds to minutes depending on conditions. Data support arrives in October. On October 1st, T-Satellite will expand to support data usage for select groups of third-party apps. The first batch includes popular apps like WhatsApp, X, All Trails, AccuWeather, and some apps from Apple and Google. This means that users will soon be able to navigate, message, and check weather using satellite when no towers are available. More apps will be added over time, and T-Mobile is actively working with developers to make their apps satellite compatible. Emergency access for everyone. T-Satellite is not just about convenience. It's also built for safety. It's like I said earlier. Later this year, the service will enable 911 text messaging via satellite, completely free for any user with a compatible phone, regardless of their carrier or plan. That is very, very cool. That is something that Elon Musk has been looking to do forever. He wants to be able to give people the safety by using the SpaceX satellites, the SpaceX Starlink. And that's exactly what's been going on here. It's even better because now you have it in your pocket. It continues developer and app integration. T-Mobile has opened up a developer channel for app creators to integrate with T-Satellite. The company wants to build a robust ecosystem of satellite-aware apps, enabling smoother experiences for users in disconnected areas. How it compares. Unlike some satellite services requiring special hardware, T-Satellite works with over 60 existing phone models, needs no accessories, and is carrier agnostic. It offers a simple and scalable path to universal satellite coverage with texting now, data soon, and voice and video calling plans for the future. The future is always connected. T-Satellite isn't just a cool add-on, it's a game changer. Whether you're hiking off-grid, driving through rural dead zones, or preparing for emergencies, this tech keeps you connected when it matters most. With data support, more apps on the way, and no need for special gear, T-Mobile and Starlink are reshaping what we expect from mobile coverage. The days of no service may finally be numbered. I agree with that. So. The reason I think that this is really big news, and I've talked about this over the last few months, is I really think that the carriers really need to be worried a little bit about not T-Mobile, but SpaceX Starlink. 
And the reason being is if they ever get a hold of the spectrum, their own spectrum, and no longer need or require or use T-Mobile's or any other carrier, they have their own. Well, it's going to be a very bad day for the big three, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T, because they can basically do their own thing at that point. Of course, there's going to be a use case of having these towers all over the place. So you get really good throughput, faster speeds inside buildings and whatnot. But for everything else, SpaceX Starlink will be able to do it for you. So this is a very interesting move on what's going on. We knew that it was going to happen, but now it's finally here. So we have moved from SMS, where it's just texting, the same thing that we see with Apple and their global star that they use. They've moved from this SMS to MMS. MMS, once again, allows you to send photos. It also allows you to send audio clips. So once again, that is data. It's not just text, it is data. Moving forward, they're going to be able to do video calling. So this is massive. It's really massive. And once again, it is here. It's not just pie in the sky and just, you know, all of this fluff and we're talking about it and then eventually it happens like years down the road. It's happening right now, right now. By October, everyone should be able to have it. You should be able to get it, even if you're not on T-Mobile. If you're on AT&T or Verizon, according to this, 10 bucks, you'll be able to have it. And I really think that this is great just for peace of mind, for example. If you are in a remote area or maybe you do a lot of boating or maybe hiking or whatever you do off grid, well, this will give you the peace of mind of knowing that if there's an emergency that was to occur, you would be able to be safe, let's say, and be able to communicate with someone to get help. Whereas in the past, if there was no cell tower nearby and you didn't have a sat phone, well, you're pretty much screwed. There is no way to get any type of communication out there to anyone. Over the many years, there has been a lot of deaths due to not having communication. It might be once again on a boat somewhere, or it might be on the top of a mountain or on some trail on the backwoods somewhere that have absolutely no connectivity at all. Maybe you got bit by a snake or something where you need emergency service and you need it quickly. You're kind of stuck. So this is, I think, powerful for $10 a month, even if you do not have have T-Mobile. That is just cheap. That is amazing peace of mind. So anyways, guys, what do you think about this? Is this something that you already have because you have T-Mobile like I do? And I see it pop up all the time now that I'm in Rome. Sometimes coverage isn't great. And when I look, it'll pop up with a satellite. And then I know immediately I'm on SpaceX Starlink. I can still communicate with Fabiola if we're in a different spot. I can text her with no problem to let her know where I am. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Um, so anyways, let me just say one thing. I want to get into a video, and I'll probably do it in my next video, about SpaceX Starlink coverage on these cruise ships, okay? Because this could turn into a rant and I'm not gonna put it into this video, but stay tuned for that because I think you wanna hear about it a little bit. And it's not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, down below, I want to hear from you. Is this something that you have, something that you want? Are you going to get it? And finally, if you got some value out of this video, as I always say, throw it a thumbs up. That's very, very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you. I appreciate that. Click this little notification button over here so I go live when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink specific content, I have over 500 videos I've made over the last 49, 50 months just for you. I'll put a link here. Check them out. There's a lot of helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, and of course the why behind all of it. Also, if you want SpaceX Starlink and you're going to purchase it anyways, you can purchase through SpaceX Starlink's website. But if you go through my link, which is jchristina.com forward slash Starlink, once again, jchristina.com forward slash Starlink, you are going to get one month free. And I will get one month free. That's just how it works. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash Starlink. Many blessings to you. 
and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, maybe through T-Mobile or SpaceX Starlink. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.